In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up automated orders within Thinkorswim so that you do not have to make decisions on when to exit trades, nor do you even have to be looking at your charts in order for the trades to execute, as well as I'm going to show you how you can add these labels to the top of your chart so you know where these trades will execute. Huge video today. Hit the like button if you're excited and I'll jump right into the content. Let's go over the strategy quickly. It's a very, very simple one because I don't want the strategy itself to be any complexity so we can focus on this label and the stop loss orders, but let's go ahead and go over it. So in this strategy, you are going to buy if the fast moving average, which is plotted as a 20 length SMA is above the slow moving average, which is plotted this salmon colored line here as a 100 length SMA, and if the current bar is closing above the 20 length SMA, you are going to buy the close of the candle. Now, your stop loss is if the low of the candle breaks below the slow, the 100 length moving average, and you're going to get out at the price of that moving average is going to be the price you exit. If I exit out of these screens a little bit, you can see right here, entrance above all SMAs and the fast SMA is above the slow get stopped out when it touches the slow MA, get stopped out at that price, as you can tell from this arrow. Great, now let's rebuild that label so that you all can see and always know exactly where you're supposed to stop out. And this can be applied to anything. I'll actually show you a couple of different examples in this video, just so you can see, but this, this label isn't only going to apply to moving average stop losses. You can literally put any condition in and i'm about to go over that now so the method or the function sorry we're going to call is add label the number one the first should i say number one the first parameter of this function is condition when do you want the function to show when do you want the label to show um you could just put yes if you always want it on what i do is i'm gonna copy I'm gonna copy my buy condition. I only want it to show if I'm already in the trade. So only show this label if we are in a trade, essentially. So that's your condition. The second uh, parameter of this function is what we want it to say, is the text we want it to say. Well, I want it to say stop equals and then the price of the slow moving average, right? So what we do in order to get a uh, script in there, in order to get strings in there, should I say, we uh, are gonna use parentheses. I'm gonna do stock, or sorry, stock, stop equals dollar sign. And then I'm gonna close this parentheses and I'm going to do a plus so that I can add a function call. And I'm gonna do slow MA as that is my plot that I have defined up here. And that is gonna give us our value. The third parameter, of this add label function is color. I'm gonna set mine to the color dot gray, color being a constant, so you have to do color dot in front of it. Constant meaning it's not a variable, it can't change. We talked about this a little bit in one of my coding tutorial videos earlier, but, uh, and there we go. Close, close the uh, line of code with a semicolon. Now if I hit apply and I did all this correctly, this should work. And I'm not gonna lie, if this works, I'm very proud of myself. I almost always make mistakes. Oh, you know what? I did make one mistake, it, that's okay. Let me show you all what I wanna do. So right now you're seeing stop equals 490.6368. I don't wanna see all those variables. So what I'm gonna do uh, here, when I'm showing my value, I can simply addend this inside of another function called round. If I put the round function around my value, the first parameter of the round function is the value. The second parameter is the number of decimals we want to round to. I only want to see up to two decimals. Now, if I hit apply, now that's a lot cleaner. Now you have your stop loss add label turned on to your chart so you never forget or misunderstand where you are supposed to be stopping out of this strategy. Hey, if that custom coding looked interesting to you, then head on over to my website, daytradingstrategies.net. 
link at the top of the description you're gonna get access to 40 codes for only 25 dollars that's like 62 cents a code or something ridiculous like that now it is 25 dollars a month because those that remain subscribed will continue to get access to new codes in which i promise at least one weekly but of course you can cancel your subscription at any time so if you just want to go download the current codes that is also an option so daytradingstrategies.net link at the top of the description we'll see you over there now let's show some other examples just to show the functionality of this ad label function for lack of a better term um say you wanted to stop out at the fast moving average instead of the slow moving average so you change your stop condition to fast ma you change your exit price to fast ma all you would do is you would then change the value in the ad label function to fast ma and you now see it's saying 609.58 which is the value of the 20 length simple moving average. Say you want to use average true range. I use the ATR study in a lot of my strategies so that I can establish a risk versus reward decided upon the volatility of the ticker I'm trading. We would do something like if the low crosses below close minus ATR from last bar, I will get stopped out. So if the current bar low goes below the uh, close, let's actually do the close of last bar. It's going to make more sense. The close of last bar minus the ATR of last bar. And we use the ATR of last bar because the ATR of this bar will always be changing. So your stop loss would be in a weird flux with the code, right? It would cheat a lot if that makes any sense. If it doesn't, don't worry. I'm, I'm rambling. Um, but anyway, I would then copy this value. So close of last bar minus ATR of last bar. I would also make that the price, which is the second parameter of add order that I would exit the trade at. And then if I replace that same close last bar minus ATR last bar as our label, you should see it change to our label. And it does so now showing our stop loss at 662.35. Five. If I go ahead actually and turn on our ATR so we can see what we're talking about, the current ATR is 19.81, which is wow. Um, that's insane, by the way. NVIDIA off track here, but absolute rocket ship is 682.23 minus 19.87. Does that equal 662.35? Someone out there do the math for me and let me know. I'm going to assume my code is right. I'm going to assume it does. That's what it sounds like to me. But all this is just to show, and I'm rambling a little bit. All this is just to show that you can put any value in here to work for any on chart value that you want it to you can get your stop loss label to work like this and once again if you are having problems if you can't get something to work on my website daytradingstrategies.net once you sign up you get access to my personal email where i am consistently like most of my day right now is spent helping people on their think script codes which i'm not complaining it's awesome thank you guys for reaching out to me but um so that's another option you know if you need something set up that you can't quite figure out yourself, $25 a month. Not only do you get access to all of my codes, you also get access to me for help. So 68 and a half percent of the people watching of you watching right now aren't subscribed to the channel. That's an insanely high number for typical YouTube analytics. Please help me fix it. Please subscribe. Thank you. All right. So next, I want to actually do something else in the code. I want to go ahead and add another. Hey, I wasn't joking. We're not moving on until you subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Thank you. God, that was corny. All right. I want to go ahead and add one more thing into this code. Give you one more extra bit of value from this video. This video is going to be something titled like how to automate your stop orders in thinkorswim or something like that. But let's also talk about profit orders. So we now know how the parameters of the add order function and the add label function work. So let's go ahead and add in two more functions for each for profit. So if we go ahead and type in add order, this of course is also going to be a sell to close order type. This time let's do high is greater than the close of last bar plus ATR of last bar and let's multiply it by two. So let's give this a two to one risk reward. We're looking at one ATR down and now two ATRs. I don't know if that works as a multiple, but two ATRs up 
And if I go ahead and copy that, we are also going to make it the third parameter of the add order function, which as we know is the price, meaning that the strategy will exit exactly at that price. So we now have the profit order in all we need to do is add another label. We still want the first parameter of the add label function to be if our buy condition is true. We still only want to see the label if we are in trades, right? But we, of course, want to take this value close plus ATR times two to replace this value. And then obviously also we need to change it from saying pro or stop equals to profit equals. And then let's do one more thing. Let's make the color of our profit label green and let's make the color of our stop label red. Now, if I did all this correctly, if we are in a trade, the label should be showing, the stop label should be showing red and should be showing close minus ATR. Our profit label should be green and it should be showing close plus ATR multiplied by two. Three, two, one, apply. Nice. We now have a stop at 662.35 as it was, but now red, of course, and a profit of 721.98, which, wow, but. Once again, NVIDIA is an absolute rocket ship. So now you can, once again, you have now learned how this ad label function works. So you know that you can plug in really any on chart value into this parameter and you can get any sort of label you would like to show on your chart. Once again, if you need help, please reach out to me, daytradingstrategies.net, link at the top of the description down below where you can get my specific help if you can't figure something out. But hopefully this free video has given you enough education that you can. I wanna showcase this as well quickly. I wanna showcase that the code will work on any ticker and on any time frame that you load onto your chart. Maybe the best part about Thinkorswim ThinkScript coding is that you don't need to change anything. Oh, Trey, I don't want to trade just like the NVIDIA daily chart. This will run on any code. And let me also show you any chart, sorry. And let me also show you an example of a really beat down stock. I'm just going to choose AMC. Sorry, apes, but I know this stock is really beat down. Just to show you that when we are not in a trade, when the trade conditions are not true the labels do not show now remember this was only the first half of this video i talked about how i'm going to show you how you can plot your stop loss orders and we did profit in this instance now i'm going to get into conditional orders and how you can set orders within thinkorswim to automatically execute at these levels so that you don't even have to be there making the decision in real time. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on my chart and go to sell. You can of course also do this from your active trade window, however you execute trades. Make sure your auto send is turned off and then you will get this order confirmation dialog. From here, I'm going to click on this edit in the bottom left and then I'm going to click on this cog of the order itself from this modal. A couple of different clicks you gotta drill into, a little bit annoying, but it's how you do it. So say I am in, we need to do a little bit of a, a foreshadowing here. Say I'm already in 100 shares of NVIDIA from 600, and I know now that my stop loss is 662.35 because of what we covered in the first half of this video, because we now have labels that show us that, right? Great, so I want to set an order to sell my 100 shares at a limit price of 662.35, but Trey, it's not just 66, what am I saying? It's not just 662.35, right? It's what we set it as, it's close minus ATR. So I can't just set a limit price and let it go because of course every single day and every single, well, it is gonna be every single day, yes, because we use the ATR of previous bar. So every single day, the limit price is going to change a little bit. First thing we need to change about that, we need to change our time and force. This needs to be set to good till canceled instead of day because day means that it will only be good for today. I'm talking swing trade here. I want the order to remain open until it either fills or I cancel it. Of course, what good till cancel means. Now, I need to come put in some conditional code. I need to let the order know that it needs to exit if the close of last bar minus the ATR of last bar is if the current price is below that, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click into this symbol. We're on NVIDIA. Yes. I'm going to click into this method. I'm going to go to study and I'm going to go to edit 
and this is going to bring up our condition wizard in which I can jump into my think script editor and all we're going to do here is we're going to type in that same condition so close of last bar minus ATR of last bar if that is true and this is ATR as a function I didn't give it a parameters so now if that is true if I go ahead and hit OK and if we scroll down and read this description here um, Wait until the following condition is satisfied. Think script based price of the security is less than or equal to zero. That's not right. And I'll tell you what, this is exactly why I love this description panel on this order rolls model because it gives you in English what the order is looking to do so that you can get an idea to go back and go, well, that's, that's not right. So if I come back into study and edit, I see a couple of things that I did wrong. First, it's doing the trigger at or below a price. This needs to be set to true instead. So trigger if this is true. And second, all I did was say close minus ATR. I didn't actually give it the current price to base it off of, right? Which is if the low is less than the close of last bar minus the ATR of last bar, right? So a couple of mistakes made there. Make sure those things are set true for you. Now look, once again, love this uh, description panel wait until the following condition is satisfied nvidia study low less than close minus atr is true the order will show a wait condition during waiting if i now hit save and i hit confirm and send that would mean that an order would go out that would only execute if the condition that we set to be our stop becomes true so what does that do for you as a trader that takes all the emotional responsibility of being able to accept the loss away from the trade same vice versa i could go in and i could do that same exact thing for the profit then i would have uh, an order set out and it would take away their emotional responsibility of hey it's up enough lock in the win right and it takes away the need for me to be staring at my charts all the time it just does so much for you and hopefully hopefully you find value in it hopefully you found value in this video i'm going to use all this to just continue wrapping it all up once again if you do need any help you can contact me through my personal email after signing up to daytradingstrategies.net. Link at the top of the description. If you did enjoy the video, I'm doing my best to, even though, yes, I have a website, this, that, and the other, I get that, but I do my best on this YouTube channel to actually parse free information to you, right? I don't hide my information behind a paywall. I'm not selling a course. I try to teach you guys everything I know. My website is just for a, a huge head start, right? I've spent hundreds and hundreds of hours on this stuff. So for 25 bucks and 25 bucks a month, if you'd like to remain subscribed, you can get access to all of my stuff, which gives you a huge head start. But hopefully you find a lot of value in these free educational videos as well. Please hit the like button for me if you do. Make sure you're subscribed if you're new. And with all that being said, that's going to wrap up this video. But I will link you all to a video on the outro screen to one of my other custom coded studies. So if you're interested in that, click on that video next. Trading stocks. He talks about trading stocks. It's important for you Americans and other international individuals to learn about stocks. <laughs>